Hey you guys, this is Mr. Sal. Thanks for watching. We're going to go ahead and solve 4x on this problem. So the first thing I'm going to do is look at uh, both sides of the equation and if there's any terms I could combine uh, on the left side of the equal sign for now, then I will combine them. So notice this first term here is a negative 14x. The second term is a positive 8. It doesn't have an x, so I'm going to put that in a different shape. The next term has a positive 16x, which does have an x. So I can combine these two x parts. I've got negative 14x plus 16x. And that would leave me with two positive x's. Now we didn't do anything with the 8, so I still have that plus 8. The line represents the equal sign. And notice these other two terms, negative 7 and plus 19, are just constants. They don't have an x value. So I can combine these two on the right side of the equal sign. So I have negative 7 plus 19. I have more positives than negatives. So 19 minus 7, that would give me 12. <clears throat> Next objective is to get all the x's by themselves. So on the left side of that equal sign, I have these two x's right here. There's no other x's, uh, either on the left or the right, so I don't have to worry about combining those with anything else. But I have that plus 8, and I don't want that there. I need it to be plus 0, which really just allows us to get rid of it because of it is the identity property of addition. So I need to subtract 8 to get that to be 0, but if I do it to one side, I must do it to the other side as well. 12 minus 8 is 4. Now I have 2x's equals 4, and that's 2 times x, so I'm just going to use the inverse operation in order to solve 4x. So all I'm going to do is divide both sides by 2 because I want the coefficient of x, or the number being multiplied x, to be 1. And 2 divided by 2 is 1, so we have 1x equals 4 divided by 2 is 2. Now we can put the 1 there if we want, we don't have to but we can if we want and then this is our answer now I wouldn't stop there though especially on a test I want to make sure that my answer is correct so I would just check this alright I would combine negative 14 times 2 I'm just using order of operations here negative 14 if I have two of those I've got negative 28 if I have two 16's I've got 32 and we still are adding the 8 and that's plus 32 I could combine the right side if I want, which we already know because we did it up here. Negative 7 plus 19 is 12. Up, we simply combine the terms from left to right. Negative 28 plus 8 is negative 20. Now plus 32 equals 12. And I'll combine negative 20 plus 32. That would give me... 12 equals 12. Now that is a true statement. So uh, we know now that this x equals 2 is the correct answer. It's a solution to the equation and we're done.